Well, hello again and welcome back to Skyrim. Check out how this looks. Go back to the last episode and look at the end of the last episode and then look at the starting of the, this episode. I will say one thing about cool about what the episode looked like last time before I put all these mods on. It did look very ashy out here. And it should because we've got a volcano over here, which I kind of can't see. We've got a volcano over here spewing ash all over the place. So it should look ashy. But I will say that um, I really like the colors a lot better now. I like the lighting a lot better now. So I'm going to stay with this. And it's a good thing I like it better this way because it is a lot of work reinstalling all of these mods. And I say reinstalling. Uh, I followed a guide, uh, the same guide that I followed before, but it has changed a lot. It's a guide that I found on Steam. Um, but yeah, I've got all kinds of mods out here. I'm running an ENB, so it's, um, I think it looks pretty awesome. I really like the way it looks. So I hope you like the way it looks too, because this is the way it's going to stay. We're uh, traveling here with Talvis, and I think Talvis has a few things he'd like to say. Hey, Talvis, what's up, man? I'm right behind you. Hey, um, what went wrong with the Ash Guardian spell in the last episode? Uh, or no, maybe that's not what we're talking about. Maybe we've already asked him these things. Now that I think, now that I think about it, I think when we very first met him, he tried to cast an Ash Guardian spell and it didn't work or something like that. So I think we've already asked him these things. Um, I don't know. Let's see what he says. No, oh, it turns out that the spell requires a heart stone to cast properly. I didn't have one with me when I cast it. If you cast the spell without a heart stone, it attacks anything in sight. Yeah, I remember him saying these things before. Heart stones are only found on Solstheim, as far as I know. Master Neloth believes they may be fragments from inside Red Mountain that were flung here during the huge eruption 200 years ago. Hmm, okay. And then we've already asked him about Ildari. Master Neloth's old apprentice? The one before me? I never met her. Master Neloth took me on because she died. I heard it was messy. Yes, it was messy indeed. So I've been asked to turn subtitles back no on and... I never turned them off, but I have noticed that I haven't been seeing them lately, so I don't know how that happened. Um, let's see here. Dialogue subtitles and general subtitles. Don't know how that got turned off, but I've turned them back on, so thanks for reminding me about that. Let's see if it works. I've got your back. Yep, he's got our back. Let's get going then. Okay, cool. Uh, <laughs> so... As I was installing the mods, I'd load the game, I'd run around a little bit, make sure everything works, and I found a couple things that I missed over here when we were here before at um, this place called Brodier Gray Grove. Uh, there's a chest here that I totally overlooked, so let's go and unlock this thing and see what kind of cool stuff is inside of it, because I'm sure, I'm sure there's cool stuff in it. Because only locked chests have cool stuff in them. Gold and a virulent poison, it's pretty cool stuff. So about the mods I installed, I mostly, well, I did a lot of, like, patches that fix bugs, uh, a lot of that, and then I did, like, landscape and weather changes, but I did not do anything to change, like, the models of what the players look like or how they act or anything like that. I just didn't want to. I just wanted to make the game look different. I didn't necessarily make it make want to make it play differently. Yeah, you can see up in the upper left-hand corner, something else is still registering. Um, and then over here, where is it? Yes, over here is yet another chest that I missed my first time through here. So let's go ahead and get this gold, this lockpick, this potion, and we'll take this cool Stallrum light helmet. That's kind of cool to get, right? Huh. Should I put on a Stallrum light helmet? Let's see how this thing compares. Let's just check it out. Right now I'm wearing this Ebony Helmet of Extreme Destruction, and I've got it up to Epic, so it's not really going to be a fair comparison, but let's just see. This thing is at uh, 128, and the Stallrum thing is at 31. Now, this is a light helmet, and mine is an Ebon a heavy helmet, so again, it's not a fair comparison. Um, I guess Stallrum... Stallrum armor is light armor. If that's the case, I don't think I'm going to be interested because I pretty much wear heavy armor exclusively. But that could change. I don't know. 
Well, 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 what are we going to do? Let's take a look at our quest list and see. Well, we can finish this quest called Old Friends. Neloth's former apprentice, Ildari Serathril, was covertly attacking him. Deep under High Point Tower, I confronted Ildari and, well, killed her. Don't have to write it down, you know. Anyway, we need to go back to Neloth, so let's go ahead and cruise back over to tell Mithrin so we can give him the good news that he does not need to be afraid anymore. Look how cool this place looks. I think it looks pretty cool. I like the way it looks. You know, I just remembered, or maybe I didn't. Maybe I didn't just remember. I did take it off, didn't I? Or maybe we get that ring back to Neloth, the one that was supposed to help us find who was attacking him. Yeah, I think we gave it back to him. And then I put the shock resist gold ring on. One of the mods that I saw uh, allowed you to put rings on your left hand as well as your right hand, I guess, that defaults to your right hand. And I considered that, but... You know, like I said, I really don't want to change the gameplay all that much. Uh, I, I do know that before I had installed a mod that allowed you to knock on doors. And I might put that one back on. I haven't put it back on yet. Yes, that changes the gameplay a little bit, but I liked it. Ooh, and uh, somebody reminded me to put a camping mod. Uh, since I'm installing these mods, I'm going to see if I can find a camping mod. Because so many times I, when I'm walking... Uh, on the roads at night, I wish I could just pass time in camps so that morning time comes. Because I like walking around in the daytime better. Hey, what's up, buddy? So, do you have it? Did you get my book? Your book? What? What, what book is he talking about? Oh, Wind and Sand. <laughs> um, did I give that to him already? I don't remember whether I gave that to him already. Okay, so little little full disclosure here. Um, w I told you that I let Steam update my version of Skyrim to the Anniversary Edition, and I he I held off on that for a long time because I didn't want to mess with the mods, right? Well, then I started having problems, so I was like, screw it. I'll let Steam update to the Anniversary Edition, and I'll redo my mods. Well, when I did that, there was a save file that I could not load. I don't know why, but my game just crashed back to the desktop every time. And it was the save after the episode where we went into uh, his cool little room here. And look, the black book, right? Remember when I opened this and we went back to the Apocrypha and we had to learn this? It was like Twilight, called Twilight something or other. That is gone. I don't know why that save would not load, but it wouldn't. So, in this <laughs> save, I haven't done that yet, and I really don't want to do it again. Um, so, I'm going to guess that in that save, I also gave him the Wind and Sand book, so I need to give it to him again. So, I will give him the Wind and Sand book again, but I, I don't know, man. I don't know if I want to do that again. I didn't like it the first time. Okay. Anyway, I think you're caught up now. Let's go ahead and talk mm. to Neloth. You're um, alive. I hope that bodes ill for Ildari. Well, um, Ildari is dead. Well, well, you have proven to be a more valuable ally than I anticipated. I have a staff for you, but I would also like to make you a member of my household. A member of House Telvanni. No need to thank me. I know you are overwhelmed with gratitude. I am indeed staff of vanquishment added. We completed old friends. Finally, I can get back to work. Um, so I like to go in here when I remember old friends. Eh, nothing new here. No new text. Uh, over here you can see <laughs> this is another mod <laughs> that I installed and now that I look at it, doesn't look like it's working right. What it's supposed Your to do is if it's, a, if it's a charged gem, it's supposed to glow. And this one looks like it's glowing, but it doesn't look like it's charged to me. So I'm not sure why it's glowing, but that's how that's supposed to work. My new steward is acceptable. If only he made better tea. He's standing right there, dude. Who made this mess over here? Look at this. So this lesser soul gem does not appear to be glowing, neither does that one, so... Yeah, I don't know, it was just something I saw and I thought it sounded cool, so I did it. 
Maybe maybe that is charged. I don't know. I also uh, put a mod that um, gives each book like a unique cover. So I thought that sounded kind of fun. It's good to have everyone not running off to that damn city. Like over here, you can see these books. They've all got different covers on them, which is kind of neat. So I thought that was kind of fun. I don't know. There was just a lot of really cool uh, mods, and I just had all kinds of fun installing them. Not really. It's a bit of work. But uh, anyway. So let's go ahead and give him the Wind and Sand book. I wonder if a dragon could be captured alive. It would make a fascinating test subject. Hey, where are you going? How am I supposed to get anything done with part of the tower withered like this? I don't know, man. Hey, that book was right where you said it was. Perhaps this particular source was worth more than I thought he was. But in, in any case, this is truly amazing. I think I can adapt this into a sort of whirlwind vortex energy. Yes, yes. I'll write it out. And you can pick up a copy from Talvis in a few days. Okay. In the meantime, take this for helping me. Ooh, 250 gold. I took the book back. Which I did read at the end of an episode. How is Drovis working out? Who's Drovis? The man makes a dreadful cup of cakes. Oh, he wasn't even talking about Talvis. However, he seems to run the place well enough. Oh, were you fishing for a compliment, a sign of gratitude? Don't waste your time. Those things are for the weak and foolish. So this must have been from a long time ago, all this stuff here. Um, although we are a member of his house now, let's ask him what that means. For now, not much, but in a few decades, when I return to Bardenfell, you would be seen as Morrowind nobility. In the meantime, we would keep a bed and chest here for you. That sounds kind of nice. Finally, I can get back to work. Where's my bed and chest? Probably not in there. That's his secret room. Let's see here. What about this little place? It's very dark in here. Anything cool in the chest? Not really. Well, that doesn't look like a room. Um, just some storage over here. Look at this cute little place. Do you think this is our place? Nope, this bed is owned. Oh man, I got excited. Because this this looked like actually a neat little room right here. I like this one. Is this your room, Talvis? Well, I'm running out of rooms to look in, so... I don't know where um, my room is. No idea. Oh well, maybe it's not in this place. Maybe it's in a different building. I don't know, man. He gave me no direction whatsoever. Well, um, yeah, I mean, what do we do now here in, uh, Solstheim? Uh, is there any other, are there any other quests left for me to do here? Because, I mean, this one is just finding more of those stones. Uh, this one is back on, in Skyrim. This one is, this one is, this one, is it? Where's this one? Okay, here's one we could do. I, I, you know, is this the one where I need a map or a key to get into? If I remember correctly. By following an ancient treasure map, I found the armor of Hackneer Deathbrand, the legendary pirate king. In addition to his armor, one chest also contained the key to Guildenhall Barrow. Could it be connected to Hackneer's treasure? Crap. Well, if I'm going to do that one, I want to go back to... Honeyside and get the key because I dumped off all my keys there, which was a dumb thing to do. Uh, healing house. Oh, okay. And I need, yeah, I need to get three tap roots for that house of horrors. Oh, he wants me to kill somebody. Yeah. These, these Daedric princes want me to kill people. I don't want to do that. And this is all like nasty stuff that I'll never do down here. All right. Let's get out of here. We'll uh, make a pit stop back over to Riften and uh, grab the key to Guildenhall Barrow. Uh, we'll grab some taproot, and then we'll come back here and uh, complete some more things here on Solstheim. It's a little cumbersome moving between Solstheim and Skyrim, but what, what can you do? I really like the snow. 
oh and, and there's a mod that like makes like when it's cold you can see their breath it's kind of fun right just silly stuff <laughs> talk to captain galland if you're looking to get past okay so we're going on down here to riften to our little home here it's called honeyside but you already knew that Hey, what's up? You're back. I am back. Want to play a game? Uh, sure. What do you want to play? Um, let's play uh, hide and seek. Okay, you stand right there and count to ten. No peeking. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Is that fur coming out of your ears? How rude. She's supposed to be hiding because she's doing a terrible job. And is this not a quest now? I mean, isn't this, isn't this isn't this like a quest when we play this game? I thought when we played tag, it turned into a quest. Is she supposed to be hiding? Because she is terrible at it. Well, we'll catch up with her later. <laughs> maybe we will, maybe we won't. Okay, so I know there's some tap root, tap root in here. Or there should be anyway. We just need three. So let's go ahead and grab some tap roots. Tap roots? Nope, not the fungal pod. Tap roots, just three, please. Okay. And I'm supposed to soak the tap roots? What? Um. Hey, can you sap some soak some tap Honor roots for me? You, my thane. I am your sword and your shield. Hey, um, has the store made any money? It has. Here, this is your half, love. Whoa, 2,700 gold? Gee. I'll be here, my dear. Um... Keys. I'm not sure, I'm not sure I remember where I put them. Not in there. Here they are, keys. Um, let's just take them all. What? Keys don't weigh anything. Oh, did it take everything out of the dresser, not just the keys? Oh, jeez. Uh, can I just control Z that? Uh, for crying out loud. I thought it was just going to take the keys. The tab I was on, and it was going to take everything. Oh, really? Oh, man. Uh, I don't even remember what else was in here. I mean... But it's a lot of stuff, man. Um. Ay, ay, ay. Uh, there's some stuff in here. Ah, uh, I don't even remember what was in here. All these. Why are there stabs in here? I, I, I don't. I don't put stabs in here. Stabs go elsewhere. I know. I put, all my arrows were in here, but they don't weigh anything. Well, I tell you what, man. Um. Look at all this crap. All right, uh, I'll take a few minutes to, fi to fix this. I won't, I'll cut this out so you don't have to watch this part. So I'll be right back. All right, so I spent a little bit of time just getting stuff out of my inventory and I saw these books in here. Uh, it says it right on it, Scourge of the Great Quarter. I think it's kind of neat. I think it is. Okay, so we came here to get the keys. Uh, I have keys. Do we have a key to that place? I don't know. <laughs> there it is, Guildenhall Barrow. We have the key. All right, let's get out of here. Oh, we're supposed to soak these tap roots? What? What is this now? Um, where? Who was it who wanted tap roots? Somebody. I don't remember what quest it was, but somebody wanted tap roots. Healing a house. Part of the Telvani Tower at Telmithrin is withered. Elnia needs three tap roots soaked in the headwaters of the Harstad River to repair it. Okay, well, we'll do that when we get back to Soul's time. Uh, see you later, dear. Nice to see you. God, she looks so bored. She needs to be out adventuring. It's not the right life for her. Okay. Uh, Lucia, greatest hide and seeker ever. All right, let's go back to Soul's time. And 
then we will go... Um, oh, we're supposed to... Ah, oh, crap. Where, who's this Elnea person? Yep. Where is she? She's somewhere around Telmithran, I guess. Um, boy, I don't know where we're going to find her. But I was hoping maybe she would tell me where the um, this river is. But let's see. Will this tell me where it is? Okay, we're supposed to soak, soak the tap roots here. Let's go do this. Sounds like fun. Okay, here we go. Well, am I going to have an option to soak tap roots or something? Or how do I soak tap roots? Oh, here we go. Ooh, we're going to a cave. Okay. I guess we'll go in a cave. What is... What? Spriggan Earth Mother? Oh, there's a tap root right there. I don't need another one. Activate headwaters. Soaked tap root added. Talk to Alenia. El El okay, let's go talk to Alenia. Huh, interesting. Okay. Oh. Chest. Hmm. Gold. Circle it. Skeleton. Gold. Okay. Boy, she's pretty neat looking, huh? Well, that was easy. I wonder if I went there before and killed her before. That's why that was so easy. What's this glowing over here? Ooh. A spriggan. Huh. Okay. Interesting. Alright. Um. Whoops. Go to our quests. Healing a house. Show it on the map. She'll be right over here by Telmethra. Let's go back. She is in a building somewhere. Ah, she's up here. Forgot about this place. Let's check it out. Oh. Oh, great. It's nighttime. Great. It's 11 o'clock at night. Well, let's see if we can find out where our bed is. We're supposed to have a bed here. It'd be nice if we had a place to sleep. Let's see what this place is. I don't remember what this place is. This is... The kitchen. It's not going to be in here, but let's walk in here anyway and just look around, because I don't remember it. Okay. Got uh, Uves sleep in there. No, this is definitely not where our bed is. So we'll just leave, we'll just leave him sleep. Let's see what's in this building. Okay, and it's locked. Well, hmm. Beats me where this bed is that we're supposed to be able to sleep in. I mean, we searched this whole place. I think we did. I don't think there's anything down here on the first floor. Yeah, there's nothing down here. So he said we get a bed and something else. I don't remember what it is. So is it like just a bed out here in the middle of the floor that I'm supposed to... Oh, is this my bed? <laughs> this is my bed. I get a bed roll. Then we get a chest. And we don't even get that potion. Okay. Well, let's sleep till morning. Uh, since I have no idea what time this person is going to be up, let's just go ahead and sleep a good long sleep. Okay. Oh. Month, morning star, the dead of winter. Month, second seed. The soil seems steams as temperatures rise. I don't, I don't remember installing a mod that does that stuff, but that was kind of cool, wasn't it? Kind of cool. coming, dude? Dude, you coming? I wanted to see you float down. Oh, well, maybe next time. Alright, let's see if she's, uh, got her shop open now. 
pretty weird looking. Could be over here. Take a good look around. I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. If not, let me know. I might have it stored away. Goodness. Elenia. I don't care if he's a master wizard. He can't treat me like this. So I'm sure we already asked her all of these things a long, yes. long time ago. That was a lifetime ago. I was just a young girl when Red Mountain erupted. Master Neloth was already old. My mother put me on a boat to Skyrim. The last time I ever saw her, she was standing on the dock as my ship sailed away. Yeah, what do you do for him? I am his mycologist. He may have grown Tel Mithrin by himself, but I nurture it. Mushrooms and fungi are my life's work. When I saw Tel Mithrin, I knew I had to be here. I've learned so much since then. Cool. D did you grow this tower? Me? No. That's Master Neloth's doing. I wasn't even born then. It's Telvani magic at its best. He brought the cuttings with him from Morrowind and used sorcery to grow them. Neat. Well, I have those three soaked tap roots you wanted. Truly? Well done. I'll just keep two of them for myself. No need for Neloth to know. Take that last tap root and plant it into the wall of the withered house. Mm hmm. Okay, let's do that. Mafala cloak you. Plant it in the wall. You have anything you want to say to me, Talvis? I've got your back. No? Okay. Lead on. Oh, I just remembered something I wanted to do back in Skyrim. Dog on it. Oh, yeah. That's another mod. Footprints. Gotta have footprints. Doesn't make any sense if there's no footprints. There he goes. Well, he don't waste any time. He just zips right on up there. Okay, so we're supposed to plant this in the wall. How am I supposed to get anything done with part of the tower withered like this? Well, dude, I have got some good news for you. Let's see, what does the quest say? Does it say anything? Uh, part of the Telvani Tower at Tel Mithrin is withered. Elenia needs three tap roots soaked in the headwaters of Harstrad River to repair it. Elenia kept two tap roots for herself and told me to plant the last one in the withered part of the tower wall. That's what we're going to do. Oh, now we go back and talk to her. Okay. So, I guess nothing is going to happen immediately. Of course not. All right, let's go back and talk to her again. These are the best kind of quests. Going back and forth, back and forth. Did what you asked. Damn that man. He's being totally unreasonable. I don't care if he's a master wizard. He can't treat me like this. Well, the soaked taproot is planted. Good. Now maybe Neloth will get off my back about it. I suppose you think you should get paid for helping <laughs> an old woman. Here, take these. I'll sell you more if you come back later. The potion of ultimate well-being. Alright, well we completed that quest. Mafala cloak you. So, if we look in here, is there any new text? I helped Alenia repair the withered tower of Tel Mithrin by planting tap roots in the wall that had been soaked in the headwaters of Harstrad River. I don't know, maybe as time goes on, we'll see the place change. I don't know. Okay. So. 
far as quests here, in, um, oh, okay, return the folio to Sindiri Arano in Raven Rock. Let's do that. I know we're going to go to Guildenhall Barrow, but I, I want to start an episode with that. I don't want to go there towards the end of an episode. Okay, it does look ash in here, so that's kind of cool. Um, where's my marker? Where is she? Did I not select the quest? Oh, miscellaneous. Okay. She is this way. I think it's a she. What do I think is a she? I don't know. Last time I rode Garland's ship, I was even me guts for a week. Dunmer won't meant to ride on water. <laughs> oh, yeah. Thanks for sharing. You lost. Nope. I'm here to talk to you. Your efforts in Raven Rock have proven most invigorating for my husband. I haven't seen him this pleased in many years. Um, okay. You look able to venture outside of town. Perhaps you could help me recover something precious that was lost. Yeah, but first, who's your husband? Adro Arano, second counselor of Raven Rock. How I hate that title. <laughs> Damn fool's going to get himself killed over it someday. Um, will you worry much on your husband's behalf? He's in grave danger. And yet he continues to place himself in harm's way. When I fall asleep at night, all I can do is hope he'll still be there when I awaken. This island was never meant for us. There's too much death here. Hmm. Well, maybe you should go back to Morrowind. I assure you, if I could convince Adril to do that, I'd be on the next ship back to Blacklight. Unfortunately, Adril and Councillor Morvane are very close friends, and they will never abandon one another. Despite my feelings. You haven't told him how you feel? I'm the wife of a second counselor, and certain things are expected of me. The most important thing is that I stand by Adril no matter how I feel, and I intend to do that until we get off this miserable rock. Hmm, okay. Well, um, where are you from originally? Adril and I lived in Blacklight, the capital city of Morrowind. House Redoran has improved Blacklight substantially over the last thousand years. Its grandeur rivals that of Mournhold itself. The root spire where the Council of Great Houses meet is something to behold. Wow, it sounds like quite a sight. I haven't seen the city in over 50 years. Even for a Dunmer, that seems like an eternity. Regardless, I hope to return there someday. Which doesn't seem likely, given my husband's commitment to Councillor Morve. All right. Anyway, you mentioned you'd lost something? A few months ago, I had sent an important folio to the first edition bookshop in the Imperial City to be rebound. They sent it back to me recently, but it never arrived. Hmm. Well, guess what? I have it. Here you go. Mavala, bless you. You found it. Well, you've certainly proven your worth around here to me. Please, accept this gift as a token of my appreciation. Uh, we got a circlet of extreme destruction. That's kind of cool, I guess. Good journey, traveler. And good journey to you, madam. Hey, buddy, what's up? Traveling beyond the bulwark will be much safer as a result of your victory at Fort Frostmoth. Many thanks. Ah, you're welcome. My doors are open if you wish to discuss matters involving Raven Rock. Look at all the books in here that we haven't read. The Red Year Volume 2, The Red Year Volume 1, History of Raven Rock Volume 3, Bone Volume 2. Your efforts in Raven Rock have proven most invigorating for my husband. I haven't seen him this pleased in many years. And the Poison Song Volume 1. And, um. Keep moving. Oh, pff, okay. Words of the wind. There was somebody else in here just a moment ago. Ooh. Okay. We're not going to do that. Okay. Well, we gave her the folio, so that was exciting. This may be the frontier, but we've still got rules. Break them and wand up in the prisons. I don't want to wand up in a prison. I think this place is really cool looking. I like it. 
Very cool. Anything else that we could do around here miscellaneously? Derkethus. That must be elsewhere. Uh, oh, I'm supposed to locate some pendants. Doggone it. <laughs> I just removed some pendants. I have a bunch of pe pendants back in uh, freaking Riften. Nets jelly, another thing. Good grief. This ancient Nordic pickaxe, which I've been told I need in order to um, mine Stallroom. So, but and I've, been, and I've been mining Stallroom, but I don't have that ancient pickaxe. I mean, you can look at my inventory. And I'll switch here to everything, and we'll filter on pickaxe. I just have a regular old pickaxe, so... Oh yeah, look, it even puts the uh, book titles in here. Look at this. Book covers, I mean. Oh, well, that's kind of neat. It's hm. an interesting cover. Oh, that's kind of fun. Huh, so... Um, man, I thought we already did this. I thought we already got the ancient Nordic pickaxe. I really thought we did. This one here. I thought we already did this one too. But I guess we didn't. I don't know why we get involved in these matters. Is it because of your father? Or is it me? He's never been the same since my mother died. I don't think he ever wants me to feel the pain he suffers. At some point, you're going to have to choose. No matter the outcome, Splend. I'll always Another respect mouth. your decision. Okay. I think we heard that conversation when we came here the first We've time. Got so this is one of those quests I picked up a long time ago that I don't remember a single thing about. But, for whatever reason, we're supposed to convince Geldus Sadri to admit Brossa Drell to the inn. Hey, you. Welcome to the Retching Netch Corner Club, home of the finest Sue Jammer that will ever grace your lips. Hey, um, it's really none of my business, but why did you ban Brawlsa Drell from your inn? Have you seen the poor girl? She's a mess. Oh, she used to be richer than Councillor Morvane, and she's spending it all drowning her sorrow. As much as I love making coin, I can't watch her do that anymore. I won't. Hmm. She has a right to do what she's, she pleases. Let her back in. Maybe this will change your mind. You know, let me think about this for a little bit. Trust me. I've seen my share of odd cases, and she's doing this to herself for no reason. She could be someone again if she was given the chance. Hmm. I mean, I kind of like what he's saying. I don't want her to come in here come drinking her savings away, but open. if I want to get this quest off my list, I have to convince him to let her back in. That's it. There's nothing else I could do. And clearing things off of my quest list is way more important. How about a drink for the hero who cleared Fort Frostmaw? Than her getting her life Have back you together. Seen the poor girl. She's a mess. Oh, she used to as much as I love making coin. Um I can't watch her do that anymore. Come on, man. I she won't. could do what she wants. Come on. I suppose <laughs> you're right. If she wants to spend her so life at the bottom of an ale mug, <laughs> it's her choice. Tell her she's welcome back any time. <laughs> what have I done? Just get them to taste my sujama. Once they take a sip, it'll sell itself. You're yeah, he gave us some sis, uh, whatever a long time ago, and that is also in a cupboard somewhere. If you suspicious activity, report it to Captain Veleth immediately. Sure, sure, sure. I'll do that. There she is. She's hanging out over here. Hey, what's up, Brossa? We're one of the here. same kind, you and I. I'm glad to have met you. <laughs> Just in my left ear, I hear, Find my pickaxe yet? Hey, uh, you're welcome at the Retching Natch anytime. Well then, I suppose I'm off to do what I do best. Here, this was something I carried around in happier times. Maybe you can find a use for it. Uh-huh. Well, that's it, huh? Ooh, Daedric Bow of Exhaustion. That sounds exciting. Don't waste your life like I did. Okay, there's some good advice for you kids. Hey, you. You've been a good friend to me. That means something. What's an ancient Nordic pickaxe? 
If the only tool tough enough to crack Stalring is what it is. Not many of those beauties left in the world. Forging them is a lost art. The one Crescius borrowed came from the Skull Village up north. I, uh, traded them some goods for it. Okay. You tell Crescius he better give that pickaxe back to me, or else. Going for a lost well, soul. um, I mean, I, th I really feel like we already did this, but maybe we didn't? I don't know, let's walk up here and see what this is. Look, look how cool this place looks. I, I think it looks awesome. I mean, it just, it feels, it feels real. If that makes any sense, although the ground does look kind of weird, doesn't it? That doesn't look right. Something's up with the ground. <laughs> But I think it's look, it looks cool. I know we picked up an ancient pickaxe before. I know we did. But maybe there's another one. I don't know. Damn it, woman. I said to leave me be. Lucretius, last time you explored the mine, you almost fell to your death. I'm not spending the rest of my days as a widow. And I'm telling you that I'll do whatever it takes to find my great-grandfather's remains. He's down here. I can feel it. That was almost two centuries ago. There may be nothing left to find. Just let me go, woman. Crecius, you're an obstinate old fool and you're going to get yourself killed. I smell a quest coming on. Ephia. My apologies for Crecius's ravings. Um... How did you meet Cretius? To understand how we met one another, you have to appreciate what he's going through. Cretius is a third generation miner. All his life he's lived and breathed nothing else. By the time Cretius came of age, the ebony mine in Raven Rock was shut down. He took that quite hard. Why didn't he move somewhere else to find work? Our home has been in his family for over 200 years. Leaving would have been like abandoning precious memories. Instead, he stayed on Soul's time and spent most of his life prospecting for a new ebony source. Sadly, it never surfaced. A decade ago, this drove him into a deep depression. He shut himself inside his home and refused to come out. Hmm. Huh. So that's where you met? It was. After refusing to allow anyone to bring him food. Counselor Morvain ordered his door to be knocked down before Cretius starved to death. I was a temple priest at the time, and they had me use my healing arts to restore strength to his ailing body. I stayed for a while and cared for him, then... I suppose we fell in love. Mm, okay. So you're a priest at the temple? Far from it. In fact, I'm no longer welcome there. Why? In all honesty? It came down to a disagreement between what I believe and what Elder Othraloth believes. I'd prefer not to get into the details, but let's just say our opinions about the current status of the Tribunal vary widely. Hmm. Okay. So, uh, what were you arguing with Cretius about? That foolish old man thinks he's 30 years younger than he is. He's going to get himself killed traipsing around the mine. Why is he exploring the mine? He's convinced himself that there's some sort of conspiracy involving the East Empire Company and the mine's closure. We came across some old letters that belonged to his great-grandfather in our house, and he believes every word written in them. What? Uh, whoa, what? What the? <laughs> Who's pushing me around? Was that you, Talvis? Who did that? I guess it was Talvis. That was very abrupt. What did the letters say? His great grandfather worked for the East Empire Company. The letters mention some sort of discovery he was sent to investigate. There's really nothing remarkable in the letters. I don't know what he's so excited about. Hmm. Who was his great grandfather? Gratian Corellius. He was an explorer for the East Empire Company. They'd send him all over Tamriel when they had difficulties in a mining operation. Can you imagine doing all that dangerous work just to end up dying at your own doorstep? What happened to him? There was a horrible accident, and he was killed when one of the tunnels collapsed. They were never even able to go down there and recover the body. 
The East Empire Company sealed that section off to prevent any more tragedies. Cretius is convinced it's a story cooked up by the company to cover up something else, but I don't know. You don't agree with him? My beloved is almost 80 years old, and I think the shock of finding one of his ancestors' things has left his mind a bit... confused. I love him dearly, and I support everything he does. But I can't let him chase this silly idea, or he may end up joining Gratian in a rocky grave. Hmm. Huh. Oh, that's it? Okay. Well, maybe when we talk to him, we can um, convince him otherwise to, to maybe let us go look for it instead. Be careful out there. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. Over here, we've got a book. What places are you? Can't you see I'm busy? Yeah. Well, I'm kind of busy now, too. Um, I, I need to end this episode, but before we do, we're going to do a little bit of reading. We're going to read Lives of the Saints, because according to this, I haven't read it yet, and I hope that's right. I don't think this got reset when I installed all the, you know, the, the update and all the mods, so uh, we're going to end this episode by reading Lives of the Saints. If you would be wise, model your lives on the lives of the saints. If you would learn valor, follow St. Nerevar, the captain, patron of warriors and statesmen. Lord Nerevar helped to unite the barbarian Dunmer tribes into a great nation, culminating in his martyrdom when leading the Dunmer to victory against the evil Dwemer and the traitorous House Dagoth in the Battle of Red Mountain. If you would learn daring, follow St. Veloth the Pilgrim, patron of outcasts and spiritual seekers. St. Veloth, prophet and mystic, led the Dunmer out of the decadent home country of the Somerset Isles and into the promised land of Morrowind. St. Veloth also taught the difference between the good and bad Daedra, and won the aid of the good Daedra for his people while teaching how to carefully negotiate with the bad Daedra. If you would learn generosity, follow St. Rilms the Barefooted, patron of pilgrims and beggars. St. Rilms gave away her shoes, then dressed and appeared as a beggar to better acquaint herself with the poor. If you would learn self-respect and respect for others, follow St. Aralar the Penitent, patron of tanners and miners. This foul criminal repented his sins and traveled a circuit of the great pilgrimages, pilgrimages in his on his knees. If you would learn mercy and its fruits, follow St. Saren the Merciful, patron of brewers, bakers, and distillers. This pure virgin of modest aspect could heal all diseases at the price of taking the disease upon herself. Tough-minded and fearless, she took on the burdens of others and bore those burdens to an honored old age. If you would learn fierce justice, follow St. Felms the Bold, patron of butchers and fishmongers. This brave warlord slew the Nord invaders and drove them from our lands. He could neither read nor write, receiving inspiration directly from the lips of Alm Sibi. If you would learn pride in race and tribe, follow St. Roris the Martyr, patron of furnishers and caravaners. Captured by Argonians just before the Arnesian War, Roris proudly refused to renounce the tribunal faith and withstood the cruel tortures of Argonian sorcerers. Vengeance and justice for the martyred St. Roris was the rallying cry of the Arnesian War. If you would learn the rule of law and justice, follow St. Alms the Just, patron of Chandlers and Clerks. Founder of the Ordinators, St. Alms conceived and articulated the fundamental principles of testing, ordeal, and repentance. If you would learn benevolence, follow St. Delon the Wise, patron of potters and glassmakers. St. Delon was head of House Indorel, a skilled lawyer and author of many learned treatises on tribunal law and custom. If you would learn the love of peace, follow St. Maris the Peacemaker, patron of farmers and laborers. As a little girl, St. Maris showed healing gifts and trained as a healer. She ended a long and bloody house war, intervening on the battlefield in her white robe to heal warriors and spellcrafters without regard to faction. The troops of all house adopted white robes as her standard and refused to shed the blood of their brethren. If you would learn reverence, 
follow St. Lothus the Pious, patron of tailors and dyers, contemporary and companion of the tribunals and the best-loved Alma Rula of the Tribunal Temple. He formulated the central rituals and principles of the new temple faith. St. Lothus is the symbolic mortal bridge between the gods and the faithful and the archetypal priest. And there you go. Lives of the saints. All right, when we come back next time, we'll talk to Cretius, and he's probably going to send us down there looking for his great-grandfather. That's okay with me. We'll do that. Something to look forward to. Let me know what you guys think about the mods that I've installed. Do you like the way it looks? I hope you do. But if you don't, let me know. And if you do like it, let me know too. Thanks for watching. I sure hope you join me again in the next episode.